sorry. I'm coming on early to test because I'm on my new computer again, trying again. And we want to see if um, I want to see if it will um, not. Um, what do you call it? Buffer. I'm trying to see that we don't get any buffering. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let me test again. Okay, can you hear me? No, baby, get down, get down. Okay, all right, just checking. You have to check everything. <laughs> Sound is good, no buffering so far. Okay, so I came on early. Mary, Mary Altier was not streaming this morning, so I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and come on early. And, um, and so we could, let me, I got the blinds are open and the sun is really bright. So, uh, yeah. How's everybody doing? How was your weekend? We're going to do a test here and see if we stay non-buffering. <laughs> non, no buffs. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Let's see, Darla, Lindsay, and... Thanks, everybody, for coming in a little early. And, uh, yeah, I got my stuff all sit out. We're going to do some journaling. How's that look? It looks pretty good. Um, if it gets too dark, I'll turn it back up. What's everybody working on? Hi, Whispering Cauldron, Teresa. And uh, who else? Does that have you, Lindsay? So, yeah, so we'll just do a little test here to see, to make sure we're not buffering. And uh, so far looks good. Let me see here if the camera could come. Does it need to come up a little or down? That looks good right there. There we go. There we go. So uh, if you're joining us for the first time or you're watching the recording, <coughs> Um, my name is Edie. I stream every Monday and Wednesday. I usually come on about 8.30 Eastern uh, to say good morning to everybody. And um, before we do the project, so if you're watching a recording, you don't want to see the chit-chat part, the good morning part, just slide on over. <laughs> so that looks a little, I mean, there we go. See the color's a little, well, I think it's okay. It's going to do. It'll do. It'll do. It'll. It'll. <laughs> oh, so there's some. I got some stickers. I got some paint. I got some supplies. I got more. I got the sticker book. I got the sticker book. And I got a whole bunch of collage stuff over here. This is what we're going to use today. It's what we're going to use. Let's see. Maybe I need to come back over this way just a tad. There we go. So what's everybody been working on? Hi, Art and Creations. How you doing? Little wavy hand there. What's everybody working on or how was your weekend? Hi, Rhonda. I should go get some juice. I still got my lukewarm coffee here. But I wanted to come on a little early and uh, do a test. So far, so good. So, uh, anybody doing any on any creations? Made some faux posts. Oh, awesome. Are you on Instagram whispering? I think I follow you on Instagram. Where do I follow you? Somewhere. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome, Teresa. Um, do I follow you on IG, um, whispering? Do you have, did you post your postage stamps there? Oh, wait, give it a second till you can type in. I follow you. Did you post them? Did you post them on IG? I'll go look. Oh, a sleeping puppy on your lap. I have cats, so I usually have. Well, they don't really sleep in my lap. They're not lap cats next to next to me, 
but not really on me. They will get up here. They'll want to be up here. <laughs> Let me go see, Whispering. Let me see. There you are. Oh, my gosh. You sure did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here's some close-ups. Let me turn the light down on my phone so they'll show up. So if y'all don't follow Whispering Cauldron, she's doing faux postage stamps. There's these, and then these are, they're kind of far away. You can't really see them unless you go there. And so you can kind of see them. Very cool. You do a lot of them. Oh my gosh. Let's see, maybe these right here we can enlarge. There we go. Very pretty. Very pretty. Hi, Kim. Oh, good. Uh, Teresa, what state are you in or where are you? You don't have to tell me your city or anything, but you said the sun's out for the first time in weeks. We've had a couple of good weeks here. We've had rain and a couple of storms over the last month, but pretty much good weather, nice, pretty, sunny, cool. I did post pictures of my garden. I'm at week five. Hi, Artful. No, oh, I said hi to Tori. Uh, Muffy. Oh, am I missing anybody? Put it in caps if you're talking to me. Make sure you have live chat selected at the top. So that, uh, yeah, I came on early, guys, to test to make sure. Because if the new computer, which my daughter got me a new computer for Mother's Day. My other daughter got me Amazon money. Put Amazon money in my account. So it was a good Mother's Day. <laughs> In Tennessee, our oh Tennessee, to start to reduce loads. Yeah, yeah, we're we're in the Atlanta area, Lynn. <clears throat> so yeah, it's cooler than I. Well, I don't say than normal. You gotta drag all your plants back in. Yeah, we. Oh, uh, I think mine are mine should be okay. Hi, Lena. I mailed out. I, I folded up and mailed out your Road Runner. I don't know what your situation is. Um, did you ever get my art card? Or is your mail just stopped and sitting at your post office? Because I mailed you that art card a couple weeks ago. And then I did, I went ahead and mailed out your Roadrunner. So, um, well, hopefully you'll get it <laughs> eventually. Okay, working and lurking. Yes, I know, Kim, right? Here, you want me to take a picture of it? Let's see if I can take a picture of it. Let's see. Let me turn my light back up here a little so I can see. I'll take a picture of you guys. It's a nice big screen. It's like 22 inches. So it's a nice big screen. My laptop, I think, is 17. So this is extra 18, 19, 21, 2, extra 5 inches on the side here. So, yeah, it's a nice big screen. Here, I'll show you. Let's see. Let me show you a picture. Mm. Um, you're working in clay tiles, Kim. Yeah. So there's there's what there's what I'm looking at. You guys, there's you guys. <laughs> I'll show you my garden. So here's the picture. Let me turn it sideways. There it is. So there's my garden. It's like, a, I think, 12-foot square, a 12-foot square. And then here's the picture of it. Hang on, turn that. The picture of it at an angle, like on, on the point. There we go. So, yeah, I got, you know, tomatoes and cucumbers and some berries and some squash, peppers, tomatoes, you know. Yeah, me too, Kim. <laughs> I already wear trifocals, Kim. <laughs> you know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see, what else do it? Let me see, do I have anything else going on in pictures to show? I did post a um, happy catter day. This was my catter day picture. I posted on, um, there's my catter day picture. 
on Saturday. I didn't do herbs this year. I did herbs last year, but I didn't do herbs this year. So I guess I still can. And then it, I did post, I'll show you the original. I'm going to mail it tomorrow. Mom, Mom knew it wasn't coming to her on Mother's Day. But this is the picture I posted of Mandy. This is what I did for her. There's the picture I posted so you can see the... Um, you can see the uh, pan pastels and pencils, but here it is. So there's Mandy. It's in plastic sleeves. So there's Mandy. So I did that for my mom for Mother's Day. So let me let me adjust this while I got her right there. Let's see. Contrast. Let me see here. It's not as sharp. Let me see. Let me autofocus for a minute and then take it off. There we go. So yeah. I know she liked it. I post I didn't I didn't uh, let her I mean I didn't let her see it until yesterday uh on Mother's Day. So that was what I um that's what I did for her for Mother's Day. So I'm gonna mail it out tomorrow. I'll mail it tomorrow. You're gonna make a pesto, okay? Yeah. When I, when anytime, um, like with the peppers and tomatoes, like Denise likes to make salsa. She likes to make salsa. Yeah, I came on early, Galena, to test my, um, test my computer to make sure it's um, working okay. Because if it wasn't, I was going to go back on the laptop. But it seems to be working okay. <clears throat> we got good lighting. Is the lighting okay? Is that light on? Let's see. I'm trying to make sure. So It's pretty good. Now let's plug that in. There we go. A little more light there, a little more light on the situation. I had to close the blinds for a little bit because it's uh, the sun is really glaring in. So, yeah, so we're here a little early just to test to make sure that uh, my new computer is not buffering. And so far, it seems okay. See, so far, I'm still thinking about hardwiring uh, a cable up in my art space because I'm on Wi-Fi. And... And ideally, if you're streaming, ideally, you don't want to be on Wi-Fi. You want to be hardwired. Um, so, you know, but I've been streaming on Wi-Fi for 10 years. <laughs> so, uh, but it probably would work better if I was hardwired. But uh, that means getting a whole nother unit upstairs because our um, hardwired computer is downstairs. So, oh, good morning, Cam. <laughs> so I got to figure out how to turn off my YouTube notifications. That's what you're hearing there. Uh, when I get a, a upload, when a video uploads, I get a little notification. I, I don't, I have notifications in the bar, in like a sidebar, but when it pops up and does that little ding every time, I got to figure out how to turn off the ding on the new computer. <laughs> I haven't figured it I turned it on. You know, at first, when I first, you know, got YouTube up, up and running on my new computer, I turned on the notifications. I didn't know it was going to ding like that. I didn't know it was going to do that. And when I turn on my computer in the morning, it goes ding, 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 ding. <laughs> well, I'm early, Teresa. I'm early. Yeah. I, you know, and I am on East Coast. It's not even eight o'clock yet here. Um, hi, Carolyn. Um, you know, I don't usually even come on. Excuse the squeaky chair. I'm sitting on my foot, so I'm gonna readjust here. Um, I uh, I usually don't even come on till eight thirty Eastern time, but I came on at seven thirty just to test everything. We'll start something in a minute. I'll I'll, I'll do a flip through the sticker book or something. It's raining, Carolyn. Okay, well, st stick around. Just stay hunkered in. And uh, stay hunkered in and uh, watch some art. So 
well, let me show you what I got pulled here for today. So I, I have my three, the three uh, books that I keep in my Jane, my little Jane thing. They're all out of the cover right now because I'm working on all of them. The first one here is um, the napkin journal one. It's my mini napkin journal. I'll just sit here and flip while we're talking. So this is the napkin journal. It's my mini napkin journal. Y'all know I have the bigger napkin journal in the ledger, the ledger book. So this is just the napkin napkins with nothing done to them yet uh this one i did paint in the background black and did uh white posca i extended the leaves out with the white posca so and then this one again i haven't done anything with it it's just glue the napkins this one we did about uh, i guess about three weeks ago i'm not really one for too much whimsy except in the napkin journal this is one of the juliet crane creatures and, um, you know, I like to use the Juliet Crane creatures in the big napkin journal. So I said, well, let me use one in the small. <laughs> These are traveler's notebook size. And uh, so, again, I just started painting the edges here. I'll just show you what I got so far. Napkin there. See, this is I haven't really done too much in this one yet. Uh, but I've been working in these three, these three travelers sizes. That's how I started painting the corners. So um, these, th now this is uh, some jelly, jelly plated papers here. Hi, Paula. These are some jelly plated, uh, jelly plated Paula's. <laughs> we don't want to jelly plate you, Paula. <laughs> Jelly plated papers, which by the way, I did do a few uh, of the brown, um, some of the brown, uh, what do you call it? And, and I haven't put any ink on these yet, but I did some of the brown deli paper for collage. I haven't inked on them yet, so they're not done, but... Um, <laughs> Desert Nana MB. And uh, okay, so th I got my, um, let me show you right here. So uh, let me get my pictures back. Right here, look at this. Here's a picture that I showed you of my uh, computer that Denise got me. But look, right here on the HP thing, see the sun shining? The sun is shining through the blinds right on that little metal HP, and it keeps flashing in my eye. I'm going to put a piece of tape over that because that, the sun is hitting that. And every time I move back, it hits me right in the eye. First world problems. <laughs> okay. So anyway, again, this is my little napkin journal that I'm still working in. Um, if y'all see something, look, here's my knee. Oh, you can't see. There's my knee. I have, I'm sitting on my leg and my knee is half on the table. So if you see that knee popping up, that's not a boob. <laughs> that's my knee. I have my knee propped up against the table. Because <laughs> I always sit cross-legged in my chair. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. <clears throat> So that's all I really have done. I did do the covers. I haven't varnished it yet, but there's the cover. <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, so there. that's the cover of the napkin journal, the little one. You know, I have my big ledger journal, ledger napkin journal. So I said, I'm going to make a small one. Then the other two books that I have in my little Jane in my little Jane cover here. Uh, I got these two here. So this one is one of the um, Dinah Reevely, Diane Reevely. I know I get always get Diane Reevely and Dina Wakely. I always get their first names twisted up. But Diane Reevely's, uh, some of her, her little uh, covers here. And um, Zandra sent me a few of these, and I have a separate book for those. You know, let me show y'all. Paul will appreciate this. <laughs> here are some of my, these are, I have two other ones in the bedroom. But these are three of my, um, these are three of my uh, traveler's notebooks that I work in. This is the other Jane one. This is my leather writing one. And then this is the one that has the other, um, uh, Diane Reevely individual uh, traveler's no uh, inserts in that. 
But this one is the one, this is the one that um, are these two, the other two I'm working in. Hi, Crystal. Let me make sure I'm not missing anybody. Hi, I, Hannah. I, Hannah, you've been around, I, Hannah has been around forever. And if y'all don't follow I, Hannah, she's a art journaler come way back. I think I follow her on Twitter. I don't know if you're, are you on Instagram, I, Hannah? Let me go over there and see if I'm following you on I, I, Hannah on Instagram. Let me go over there. <coughs> Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I'm following her. Oh, here. Here we go. If y'all. <laughs> now, isn't this a person you want to follow? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was looking for some art. <laughs> anyway, go follow I, Hannah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's the one that popped up when I that's the one that popped up when I went over there. Hi Annette. Hi Caroline. Anybody I miss? Amanda. Gail. I know I'm probably missing people coming in, guys. I and I came on early, so I don't even have any mods here yet. I came on early to make sure my computer was uh, not buffering, and so far. So far, it's not buffering, so I don't have to change back to the lappy. And um, so, hi, Heidi, um, Annette, Teresa P. <clears throat> Thank you, Teresa P. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, you have two channels? Is that the one I was on, I, Hannah? Let's see. Let me go. Yeah, that's it. I was on with the H. Yeah. I mean, with the S, with the S on the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, um, no, you don't go. I'm here, Annette. I'm the main mod, Annette. And I, I can mod some people real quick. So you behave, Annette. You behave. <laughs> I came on early. So, the you know, I'm usually not even on till 830. On Monday, on, so if y'all are just joining me or you're watching the recording, I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, but I usually come on at 8.30 to chat and say hello. Today I came on at 7.30 because Mary Altier was not streaming early. She usually streams before me, but she wasn't streaming this morning. I think she streamed late last night. So, so I said, well, let me go ahead and come on early and make sure that I'm not buffering and there's no co connectivity issues. So we seem to be good so far. Yes, it is Monday. It is Monday, right? It is. <laughs> we all lost track of time. Okay, so that was my napkin journal. And then this is the other one. Now, these are all in pro. They're, well, all our journals, right, Paula, are all in progress. <laughs> they're always in progress. So anyway, um, this one. And yes, I do have holes punched out in almost every page. So this is just one that is, um, this is how they start out. So this has not had anything really done to it yet. Okay, so what I do, and I did pull a big piece, a big um, jerk here. I did pull out my mixed media cans to show you like bigger, how we're going to do some stuff today. But I've been working the same process in these little books. Okay, so uh, this one's got a little more painted done, but this is how they start out. They look a hot mess. So what I do is I start out with the collage, and most of y'all that are here already know this, but if you're watching, I want to do it for the recording. So um, I glue down just a random bunch of collage. Now, I do try to make my collages cohesive with color. Uh, what, what paper do I use in these? Everything. Any papers I like. Now, that being said, I usually glue things down with matte medium. Now, as you've seen in my other collage books, what I'll do was my other big one. What I'll do, <clears throat> now this is one of my handmade ones. This is just a book of a whole bunch of papers and stuff. What I'll usually do when I'm, this is a bunch of different books that I put together. 
and they're um so what i'll do is i'll go through it and i'll just take a glue stick let me find one that i think i've already glued most of this down but i'll take a glue stick and just tack it down i'll just tack down images for the time being and then when I get serious about working on the page, I will go in with golden matte medium <coughs> to glue everything down. That, so then I'll glue everything down with golden matte medium. And then I'll go in and scrape some paint. And usually it's a couple of colors, but it makes it cohesive. <coughs> so like, for instance, you can see a couple shades of green. Here's some purple. See how it's kind of color related. And then what I'll do, and they all have holes punch in them. I made a bunch of, I needed some planets. I needed some planets. So I punched them out <laughs> of my journals. Hi, Asa. Uh, Carolyn. I do too. I haven't. Um, I Hannah, are you doing videos lately? I have to go check and see if you're making videos lately. I haven't looked lately, so I'm sure I follow you on if on YouTube. So um, anyway, they have um, <clears throat> they have holes punched in, but then they'll end up. So you can see they're different colors, color themes to start with. So this is what I, how I start them. But then I'll go in and paint them. We'll get to it here in just a minute. Then I'll go in and paint them out into scenes. And I build a world in there. So I'm going to build a world on these. So I'm almost to one here. Okay, I got a little gold paint around the edge there. there. So this is, then they come, then they go to this stage. Okay, and I did put gold. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go get some juice, guys. I'm, my hot coffee is not hot, so it's not helping my voice. Um, so anyway, so this is what then we end up with, just like in my uh, my abandoned book books. It's the same kind of pop principle. Let me pull one out. And I know I've already seen these. I'm just gonna pull one out just to kind of show you where we head with it let me find a couple let me find a couple that are done so you can see um some of the finished ones so we build worlds out of the collage like here there's that's a good example it is a little flashed out but uh, i don't want the pay i don't want it to be too dark you do worlds within worlds within worlds and cats. Yeah. <laughs> and cats. So, you know, these are, these are kind of my, um, this is in my abandoned books and, um, and I'm not going to go through showing you the before and after because I do have the book untouched. I have double copies of my abandoned books so you can see the before and after, but I'm just going to kind of flip here so you can just kind of see, some of the ones that I have bookmarked here with a post-it note. This one's done in varnish. So eventually they'll all be varnished. So this is one that's varnished. Um, let me, maybe I'll show one. Hang on. Since we are, um, we are early today. Let me see what page. That's about, it's about halfway done, I think. Halfway through. I'm going to try to find that one. So you can kind of see one of the pages before and after. Let me flip to it. I've got these postmark uh, po um, posted it too. Find it. <clears throat> I don't think it was this far back. Uh, I might have passed it up. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is what it started out as right here. This is what it started out as. And it and there was no bridge. There was no no connect, nothing there. Not that there should have been a bridge, but there was nothing there. I said, well, we have to have a bridge. There's a bridge to nowhere. We're going to have a bridge in space. So that's when I turned it into this. So you can see right there how we bridged it. So, and then this is what it looks like when it's varnished. Uh oh, it got flat out. Hang on. There we go. So, that's what it looked like before and after. 
So I'm just going to kind of flip through a few of these just so you can kind of see. And again, it's a little, it's a little on the bright side, but I don't want it too dark. Right now, the sun is, uh, the sun's beating through my window here. This is one of my favorites right here. I love this one. Hi, Lori. Let's see, Annette, Mark, Evelyn, Riri. I'm early, guys. Mama four. I'm early to come test my computer to make sure we're not buffering or anything so i came on early since mary wasn't streaming so um but anyway these are my world building collages and uh i did this in this case it's the abandoned book by Kerry and connelly which um he he loves my collages i have actually sent him in the uk through via his publisher i've actually sent him an original page out of one of the other books the castle one, I think. And uh, <clears throat> so he, uh, and I always tag him and stuff. So, but anyway, just, I said all that to show you that this is a miniature version, but I just built my collages with um, just random pieces of stuff, right? Okay, Tori. All right. So that is this little book here. That's what's in this one. <coughs> I'm going to have to go get um, some juice, guys. And now this one is my little faith journal, faith in quotes. And uh, this is what I thought I would work in today. Now, I'm not going to preach. This is not a religious channel. Um, you can do this with faith, quotes, and I'm going to do both. So I said um, some of my favorite quotes. I did this other book some years ago. This one I did in 2013. And... Uh, has some of my favorite quotes in it, and it's just on brown uh, envelopes. And these are Francis Bacon quotes, and I love Francis ba Bacon quotes. So this one was, and I made it messy on purpose. So these are some of my favorite Francis Bacon quotes in here, and so I thought I would reuse some of them. I'm going to reuse some of these quotes in here, but I also pulled out a bigger journal here. And y'all are going to have to listen to me repeat a couple things because not everybody's here yet. I'm early, so you're getting a preview. Um, I'm going to do show you how to start with something like this and then build on it with collage elements and uh, brush letter writing and stuff like that. So I did a couple of sample pages with nothing on it yet just so we can sh I can show you like some stages. So we got that. So that's what this is, but just smaller, okay? Um, do you bind these or staple them? These particular ones were already made, Annette. Uh, this, wait, let me take that back. The napkin journal one is one I made. So this is, this is just folded papers. This one is just folded papers in half, and it's just bound with an elastic, okay? It's just bound with an elastic. So they could come right out, say, if I wanted them to. But these other two that I'm working in, uh, this one, this is the Diane Reevely one. It's already bound, right? And then this one is, I don't even know what this is. This It might have just been a traveler's insert that, because I painted the cover. So this is a painted cover. Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up already. There's Jen. Jen and I came on early as my computer. So, yeah, I am early. So, yeah. I know because I wanted to test. Mary wasn't streaming this morning, so I wanted to come on early just to see. And um, <laughs> so anyway, this one I painted and varnished. So that's painted and varnished. I don't remember. It could have just been a brown cover. It could have just been a traveler's brown cover. I don't remember. But anyway, so it's kind of this one now as opposed to this one. So this one has a lot of bright colors, right, that I'll end up working in with uh, brighter, you know, colors. This one is the whitewash. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to do like a whitewash type, okay? So like this. And it's the same thing that we're going to do like this. And I, like I said, my sample here. And this is the Canson Mixed Media Rough. It's a little thicker. It's a little toothier it's a nine by 12 50 sheets 90 pound and it's uh it's just a little bit you know it's good for mixed media you know there's also the canson mixed media any of them 
kind of thick or fine, right? Kind of thick or fine. But anyway, so I'm going to show you how to do this. But I did a couple of pages just to show you how it looks like this. And then we're going to go from that, which is the same as this. <laughs> this just doesn't have color on it yet. To, and here come the babies. Here's the baby. Here, you want to sit right there? There you go. Sit right there. You can sit right there. The ink is dry, so you're okay. That's all dried out. <laughs> so, hi, Green. Anybody I missed? Tina. Hi, Tina. I did mail out. I mailed out the two uh, color book winners, uh, Tina and Elaine. I mailed y'all's books out Saturday in priority envelopes, so you'll probably get them maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. So, I did mail out your... Um, I did mail out your color book winnings. Yeah, um, Annette, the, the bot does not like that word. <laughs> we don't care, but, you know, that's what it is. That's why you got uh, censored. <laughs> I, I, Janet let it go through. Yeah. it. Uh... <laughs> so anyway, uh, so here's one of the faith pages. And then I have some with the quote page. So I kind of work front to back. Back, I just work wherever. This is one of the quotes here. Uh, my Francis Bacon quotes. I love this is one of my favorite quotes. Imagination was given to man to compensate him for what he is not. A sense of humor to console him for what he is. So I just kind of, I, I don't usually do a whole page like this, but I wanted to do some brush lettering and I love the little smiley faces. So I just wrote right over the smiley faces, <laughs> but this is a fit. Yeah. I could add some more little doodads. I mean, I can always go in there and you can always add more stuff, right? But um, just so you can kind of see where we're headed, this is kind of where we're headed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Paul. XL rough. Yeah, this is what it is. XL rough. Mixed media. Is that a different one than the regular mixed media? It says rough on it. I didn't go. I didn't feel of them in the store. Feel of them in the store. But uh, anyway, yeah. Okay. So um, let's see. I know I'm missing people coming in. We'll let uh, everybody say hi to the cat. <laughs> this one's Malibu. Mal and and um, Oliver, when he, you know, they go for a walk on their harnesses. And they were, um, Hubster took them out yesterday uh, in the backyard one by one. And uh, Oliver loves to roll around the dirt. He would get in the garden and roll around if we let him. But, of course, I don't let him in the garden, you know, because I'm growing stuff. So he'll find any little patch of dirt and roll in it. Well, we have red Georgia clay here. So when he comes in the house, he's he's like Sienna. He's Sienna color. And I said, Hubster, I thought we weren't going to let him roll in the dirt. Well, I tried to stop him. Yeah, right. You tried to stop him from rolling in the dirt? So, um, yeah, but I brush them every day. And so, it, you know. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Suze. I know I'm missing people coming in. Uh, Lori. So anyway, this is kind of one with a quote. Then I have some with faith on it. You know, this is one. This is a, this one's got some gold uh, marker on it. So that's a faith page. This is a faith page. So this is kind of my faith and quote journal. So I've got a few pages kind of started in the beginning. You know, and I'll write like pray and different things on there. This one has hope on it. So, um, and then the rest of them look like this. They're not done. See how they're whitewashed? So the whitewash gives me a base. The whitewash gives me a base. This one's got a little more color on it. But for the most part, they're just, the, this one's got some color. They're in progress. So, you know, they're in progress. But this is what they start. So I will show you from beginning to end, except I thought I would do it bigger. I'm going to show you a bigger page, but it's the same process as what I'm doing in these little ones like this, right? They look a hot mess, but that's what they start out with. And it's very freeing. It's very freeing just to glue down anything. Here's another um, quote here. Um, 
another Francis Bacon quote so you can see what the finished pages look like. Hi, Christy. So I'm going to run downstairs real quick and get some juice. That's got a glare on. And then I'll show you the supplies I pulled to use. I got some stickers. I got some. I did get the Jane Davenport um, color sticks, her new color sticks. And that's what I'm using around the border here. But for the most part, this is either ink and white paint or acrylic paint with white acrylic paint to make that nice uh, soft you know, that's the white soft, because y'all know, you see me do the outer space and a lot of black and a lot of dark, a lot of sci-fi, a lot of sci-fi type stuff. Well, I also like this kind of stuff, but this is usually the kind of stuff I do for me. And then with the brush lettering, I'm just using the Fude, one of the, um, you know, you can get these on Amazon or you can get the other I'm not Amazon, jet pens. You can get the um, other food A ones at, uh, Am on Amazon, but I, I like to support jet pens. Me and Janet like to. <laughs> so anyway, that's what this is. It's just one of those plastic nib type brush. It's not really a brush. It's a plastic nib. And these are perfect for brush lettering like this. And then you can get different sizes. You can do it in different sizes. So let me run downstairs and get some juice real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, gave the cats a snack. But I'll keep them happy for a minute. Got some cranberry juice. <sighs> you should do this stuff. I'm going to do this stuff for you, Gail. I'm going to do it today. <laughs> That's the plan for today, is this style. Okay, I catch my breath because I just ran up and down the stairs. <clears throat> okay. So let me show you some of the supplies that we're going to use. And again, I'm going to do, I'm going to, it's the same thing that is in this book here. I'm going to do larger just because it's easier to see. Okay. So um, again, you can see all the, just the hodgepodge of collage stuff. But then from this, we work it into, we work it into these. Okay. Or this, this. I think that's all the finished pages I got is in this one. These are, you know, I just started the, these kind of recently, but I have tons. Y'all know I got tons of um, <clears throat> travelers. Okay, so uh, so if you have, you know, any kind of travelers notebook, or in this case, what we're going to use is the Canson Mixed Media Rough, just because it has a little tooth to it. It's a little bit toothier. Um, and I, that's just what we're going to use today because it's bigger and you'll be able to see it better, okay? That's the only reason I'm going to use that. I picked a couple scrapbook papers. This is that Vicky Bouton one. So I thought maybe we'd pull from this just because it's easy to, y'all know how many scrapbook papers I have. I have so many scrapbook papers, guys. I took apart 14 uh, stacks. I took apart 14 stacks and made, uh, bundled them all up. Here's just a couple. I bundled them up to make travelers inserts with. 
I have, I have 14, it's about this many on side. About this many is how many I folded down. So I spent one whole day taking apart all, not all my stacks, 14 of them. 14 stacks and folding, cutting them down to eight. Uh, it's I think it's eight and a quarter by eight and a half, I think is, is what it is. Cut them all down, folded them in half, and made a bunch of uh, inserts. I started making them. Here's, a, here's some that are actually more folded and more um, together here. So I'm making my own inserts here with, um, with the stacks of paper that I cut down. So I'm working on that. Oh, and if y'all make here's my, um, this is the portrait I did of mom's Mandy dog. This is Mandy, and I did her for mom for Mother's Day. And she's um, acrylic base, pan pastel, and color pencil. So um, I already posted a picture on Facebook and everywhere for mom for Mother's Day. So she knows it's coming. So I'm going to send it out to her tomorrow. Collect us. Yes, cut them down, Annette. Cut them down and you still have a strip off the side. You still have like a four-inch strip off the side to keep. <laughs> Or something else right so cut those stacks down and use them so anyway that was mom's mother's mother's day uh present and y'all know i do commissions i do people and pet portrait commissions you gotta email me but it will be a late it, you're you're like two months out so um yeah don't don't email me and say you need something for the weekend <laughs> And uh, so if you need a, if you need a por pet portrait or a um, people portrait, and if you want to see my portrait, you can go on Instagram. Fa my Facebook art folders are all public, so you can go look at all my art is public. Um, yes, thank you, Janet. Okay, so I pulled, let me just show you everything we got to use here. <clears throat> well, we might throw in some other things, but this is what I picked. Uh, this, you know, stack of paper. I have this uh, sticker books and other stickers. These, uh, I think it was it Zeely. Zeely sent me a bunch of stickers. Look, she she went crazy and sent me a bunch of stickers. Plus, I have some of my own in here. So, um, so I got stickers in here, and I got the sticker book, which I have been using. I have been using a lot out of the sticker book. It's all like Victorian era stickers. And I got this at Target. Janet and I both bought a couple of them. And uh, what's nice is the back side of all, the, every page, the back side looks like this. So after you are done with your sticker stickers, you can peel off the, you know, you can peel off the sticker backing paper. And you're left with like a, a shiny piece of, you know, the back side, the back side of this. Hi, Gigi. Thank you so much for the PayPal. I'm going to send you out a print. Thank you so much. I've got to get, um, I haven't been able to get over to um, Office Depot to make another set of prints, but all the all you that um, support the channel with Super Chat or PayPal, I'll, send, I'll be sending you out a print. So I did a few TM blank journals for the staff at one of our hospitals here. Oh, nice art and sit on art in the city. That's nice. Did they like them? Did they know what they were? Did you put an elastic band around them? So they know, or did you, did you staple them or how did you attach them art in art in the city creations? How did you, how did you make your inserts? Did you elastic band them? Did you staple them? How did you do that? Let's see. Hi, Lolo, Arlene. Uh, yeah. And so anyway, I got it. At, me and Jana got a couple of them each at Target. But they also had them on Amazon for a while. But I think they sold out at Amazon. But they are at uh, Barnes & Noble. Unless they're sold out. But so you can go to online, Barnes & Noble online. Now, they probably won't be 30% off like they were at Target. They were 30% off at Target. They run, I think, about $17 normal. And then we got them 30% off. And so if you have a Barnes & Noble, you know, discount or something, you know. So they are, that you can get them there as well. Your 
I'm Kay. I made blank papers and just used the pamphlet stitch. Okay, so you actually sewed. See, I'm I'm too lazy. Um, you get a rubber band <laughs> or an elastic band on mine, an elastic cord. You know the jewelry cord, the elastic. <laughs> I don't sew. I I mean I've sewn a couple things, but I don't enjoy sewing. So um, I bought a fay. Uh, who else? Uh, did I say hi to Darla? So anyway, yeah, so the sticker book, what's nice about the sticker book, and again, I've been using it quite a bit, as you can see. I have another one, so. <laughs> but what I like about the last, oh, I don't know, eighth of the book or something, the back of the book, if you're getting real low on the stickers in the book and you want to still save the stickers, obviously, then you can just put them on a separate sheet if you want to. So, so the back it back part is all um, the back part is all there. You know, Amazon, a sticker book, whatever. So you're getting some buffering. OK, so hopefully if it gets bad, if it gets bad, I will go back on the laptop. OK. We'll, 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 uh, we will, uh, swap out. Gail, you always get buffering though. You, you get buffering when nobody else gets buffering. Okay. So we'll, we'll, um, uh, I'm going to type it in. Let me type it in. We'll, we'll wait about five minutes. We will wait five minutes. And if still buffering, I will move to the, laptop there we go <laughs> okay we'll try for about five more minutes so i won't start the project yet i'll wait about five more minutes okay i'll wait a few minutes and as long as we're not buffering i'll start the project if we're still buffering i'll move over to the laptop in the meantime i'll just show you what we're going to be using okay so we're going to have stick we have stickers I have this paper. We got a lot of stuff to use here, so hang on. <clears throat> um, of course, you can always use you can always use your calendars, your old book pages, your old dictionaries, anything like that in in your as your base. See, so you can see all the different things I've used here. It's just you can use whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Then, like I said, I got the Jane Davenport, um, I don't know what you, they're not slick sticks. They're, they're kind of like your gelato type thing, but they're that slick, you know, um, and they are water-based. And I did do a test sheet to show you. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let me get the other sheet. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. Okay, so here they are with just full strength and wet. So there they are, full strength, and then just a little bit of water to pull them out. This card came, this card came in the box. Okay, and they weren't very expensive. I think they were about thirteen or fourteen dollars. Of course, you can use a forty or fifty percent off coupon. I got them at Hobby Lobby. My Hobby Lobby opened back up. So this was the treat to myself when hobby my Hobby Lobby opened back up. So um, they're normally, I think, $13.99 or something like that. But I had a 40% off coupon. So, you know, which is a good deal. And uh, you did a shameful chain order. I did a Xandra order. Yeah, uh, I did a Xandra order for some. Um, okay, we're going to probably have to put you out of the room in a minute. Uh, <laughs> I ordered some of the those uh, tissue papers from Xandra and, uh, over the weekend. Xandra's paint and paper studio. So, And she runs out of her stuff quick, guys. So um, if you will see something you like at paint and paper studio, either grab it or tell Xandra to reorder it because she sells out real quick. Okay, so this is what they look like, just full strength. And here they are where I added some white paint. So you can see the difference, right, with white acrylic paint and then just plain straight, um, 
you know, just right out of the, the little lipstick tube type thing. And then here they are whited, whited down with a, a white acrylic paint. So there, the, there's that. So that's what I, I have those. And what I did with that is I played around with some of the edges, like right here. See some of the border, some of that darker edge around the border there. And let's see, did I do it over here? A little bit. I might have done some on here. And then I'm out, I'm outlining all my pages with gold paint. So for that, <clears throat> for the gold paint, I just use, you know, just some gold folk art or Americana or deco art, or this is uh, Dazzling Metallics by Deco Art. And how I do it is I just put it on my finger and kind of swatch it along the edge. I don't try it because I want it imperfect. So let's see if you can kind of see. See how it's not perfect around the edges? <clears throat> I just put it on my finger and kind of go like this and just kind of put it on with my finger around the edge. So that's how I add the gold paint around the edges in here. Now, you know, when I'm doing stuff in the bigger journals, I don't gold edge it, but you know, you can do whatever. I know she wants to play with the supplies. Are we, how are we doing here? Um, hi, Bacola, how you feeling? Are you on the mend? No, she's a virus. Um, <laughs> Are you feeling better, Pacola? Did you get your uh, happy mail I sent you? I hope you got your happy mail. Um, feeling better, good. Well, it's good to see you back. And I hope you're, you know, on the men now. I'm just letting her play with this for a few minutes here. Again, I'm waiting to make sure we're not buffering too poor, too badly. Oh, you didn't get it yet? Well, I sent it out, gosh, about a week ago, Pacola. It's been a week at least. All right, well, let me know, because I sent it out a week ago. Should have got it by now. Um, <clears throat> no, you can't have my kitties, Kenny. All right, so that, and it comes in this box like this. And again, it's only like $13 or $14. And if you have a coupon, it's, you know, eight, seven, you know. So, which I thought was pretty good. It's less, less than a dollar each, you know, the sticks when you get it with the coupe well even without the coupons there's 12 of them so that's a dollar normally for each so you're getting them for about 50 cents each if you get to use a coupon hi julie happy marvelous monday to you too so that the gold paint here um let's see what else do we have um so y'all know I love my white Posca. I have Poscas. I don't have Poscas in every color. I have a lot of Poscas, but I don't have every color like Kathy Berg does. But I have a good selection. I have a good selection of Poscas. <laughs> but I, if I could recommend that anybody get, I'd tell you to get the white Posca. I use the white Posca in my collage, in my color booking. I use it in, I use white Posca in everything. And you can get them in different nib sizes. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna poke you with that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I would recommend getting the um oh well don't get a cat if you're allergic, Kenny. <laughs> Let me get a sip of juice here. Y'all know I just use uh Americana Deco Art Craft Paint. They don't sponsor me or anything. Uh, I just like it. I, it's inexpensive. It's good coverage. It's opaque and they have good color. So, but any, any craft paint, that's what I use in my collage, in my mixed media, in my art journaling, just Americana craft paints. Okay. Uh, if I do some stamping, I did, okay, baby, get on bed, go in the window. I did do a little stamping here. You can see a little bit here. Uh, not a lot. You can do as much stamping and or stenciling. Here's one of my hand carved. Um, that's Shalom in Hebrew. Uh, you can do, um, you can, car there's one of my carved stamps there. Um, but uh, you can use stamps, stencils, whatever, you know, whatever you want as additional things and i'm going to show you some of my collage fodder that you can add as focal points again this one is more about um 
journaling quotes and faith quotes and just quotes I like. So this one's going to have more words. And so I want to leave some blank area so that I have I have a place to put the words, right? So it's not completely full up with just a bunch of stuff, like a lot of my, you know, world building stuff is, because I want to have room to write um, brush letter in. <clears throat> so there's some brushes there. So the other um, thing you can get too are the Arteza, and I just pulled a few colors here, Arteza paint pens. To me, they're a little not quite as opaque as they're not quite as opaque as the um, as the uh, uh, Posca, but they have more cool colors. I got the pack of I think sixty colors. I think I put them in this. I think there's sixty. Uh, maybe I'm not sure. I forgot how many. But look at those cool colors. So you get a lot of pastel colors and some cool colors. So there's the Arteza paint pens. You know, um, they are they're less expensive than Posca. Poscas can run three to five dollars each. I don't remember how much the Artezas were. They weren't that expensive for like 60 of them. I have I, I have no idea how how much longer they might last or anything. Although you can see the liquid in them. You can kind of see, you can't see it on camera, but you can see through the, you now they are only, you know, they're only in bullet tip that I've seen. I've only seen these in bullet tip. So you're not going to have the, um, you're not going to have this. You're not going to have that nice sharp point, which is on the smaller Poscas. So just be aware of that. Uh, Marla's Mods and that, hi, I know I'm missing people coming in. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks for the thumbs up. Okay. So I've got, I pulled some of those, just the colors. I don't know. I'll probably change colors. Then the other thing that um, I used is inks, and you can use different kinds of acrylic inks. Y'all know that back when, let me get a couple, two or three different kinds here. That's the same as this one, I think. But uh, a while back, a, maybe a year ago, Hobby Lobby had all the, the acrylic inks, had all their acrylic inks on sale for like a dollar twenty-five. Oh, maybe this one was a dollar seventy-four for the Amsterdam. This was FW, and I think it was like maybe a dollar fifty. Anyway, they had all their inks on clearance uh a year or two ago. Then they had another little mini sale where they had some on clearance. So I got some of those. Um, the other inks that are, are out there that you might use are the um, Liquitex inks, the Liquitex brand. Okay, there's these are acrylic inks. Then there's also the, um, I'm just grabbing a few, the Bombay, the Bombay India inks. Okay, the Bombay India ink ones. Um, the reason I like all these that I'm showing you is they're waterproof, okay? Uh, yeah, the Great Hobby Lobby clearance sale of 2017. <laughs> yeah, Pacola. These are all waterproof uh, once dry, of course. But um, so that's what's good about them as opposed to like the dilution sprays or some, you know, some other inks that are very vibrant and fun to use, but they're not waterproof. So if you go to put other things on it, it's going to move. Now, how I've been using these, and I'll show you here in a minute, is I'm just putting them in my little porcelain, just putting a little bit out in the porcelain trays. And then with white, uh, I'll come over here and I'll pick up, now these are all dry, so I can't pick it up, but I'll pick up, um, I'll pick up some of the ink and come over here and kind of drag it into the white paint. And so it it washes it down, right? It 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 makes it more, you know, this pastel look. We're gonna do it. And so, um, but you can do the same type of thing with your acrylic paints. So you don't have to have the ink. I just kind of like the vibrancy. I like a little bit of different variety of the colors. But you know, I've got to probably have every color of Americana there is as well. So either one. 
So there's that. Oh, stays on. I'm using stays on anytime I'm doing any kind of stamping. And I've been using my own hand carved stamps. I won't show you these now because I did a show last week. I did a show last week talking about um, some of my stamps and my hand carved ones. Some of my hand carved ones on erasers and stuff. So anyway, use your stamps. And mine are a hot mess, guys. I almost always use black stays on or archival black ink so they're all stained I, I don't care <laughs> but you know some people do um i would recommend if you're using now there's no acrylic ones in here these are the foam ones but your acrylic stamps i would recommend you trying to kind of clean those off because i don't think stays on is very good for the acrylics these are red rubber and hand carved ones and or foam you know the foamy ones foam foam bits that are on acrylic um pieces but they're they're uh they're not acrylic so, but the, the clear acrylic ones you probably want to stay away from these uh harsher inks and for the acrylic ones i have like distress inks you know distress oxides and those kind of inks for my acrylic stamps but what I've been using in here are just like those ones out of the box you saw there. Okay. All right. I'm kind of trying to keep, don't forget guys, if you talk to me, put it in caps. Like so far, are we, did the buffering stop? I know there probably is going to be some little bit of buffering. Everybody has that. Uh, as long as it's not like knocking us off the air or anything like that. If that happens, I will go back on the laptop. Um, it seems to be, I don't know why, more stable, but it, it, some days it's hard to, but as long as we're okay here, so far so good. Okay, so if it gets bad, Janet can text me or scream at me in chat. <laughs> okay, so again, we got our stickers. All right, so now the other thing that I use, again, I've got a books and calendars, and I literally, guys, have bins and bins and I'm not kidding, bins and bins and bins of collage fodder, magazines, um, calendars, books, old books, music. I, I got a, a little of everything. But when you want to add just a little something, something like this, then, <laughs> then I have bins of smaller stuff, small, the smalls. Like if you're in, um, if you were doing uh, <laughs> antique roach or uh, antique, uh, you know, like uh, the pickers, they're called smalls when it's a little toy or something. Well, these are my, <laughs> these are my smalls. So um, I have a couple bins pulled of all this kind of stuff. And so if you just want a little flower, a typewriter, some more flowers, maybe I'll pull a couple of these flowers out because I might, here's ticket stubs, you know, depends on what you're doing. Now, because the book we're working in today is more of a faith and where'd it go? It's more of a faith and quote journal. You know, it's more just decorative, like some flowers, some butterflies. It's really not, it's not really a theme. This is not really a theme based book as far as, like the butterflies have nothing to do with the quote, right? Although those little smiley faces did just happen to work with the quote. But um, for the most part, it's just decorative. It's just decorative and it doesn't necessarily go with the quote in this book, okay? Here's the front of this one. Again, it's just my little faith journal. Faith in quotes, right? This one has hope on it. girls there butterfly watch a color it's more just pretty it's more pretty than than themed right and then of course all these pages aren't done yet so well this one's got a little paint on it um so anyway um this one the lion did work because in the text and some book text that was in the background the word young lions was in it so i i glued that lion on this page because of that text you know but you know for you you just find that whatever you like i have some different little uh stickers on there say pray or praise or you know a few things but it's gonna be I like I love my Francis Bacon quotes. So um, you know, like this one here. 
Um, did you make that from scratch? I still put it. Um, not this one. This one is one. Uh, I, it, this one is either uh, the Dino, Diane Reevely, one of these, or it's just a, a brown. I think, it, no, because it's got point, they're pointy. So it's not, hers are rounded edges. So I think this was just a brown, one of the brown travelers. Let's see. I can't see because I've covered it all up everywhere. But I think this was just a brown travelers notebook already bound. I just painted it and varnished it myself. But um, but I did this one now. This is the napkin journal that I showed a, an hour or so ago. It's my mini napkin journal. Y'all know I have... Nope, that's not it. Hang on. Um, oh, here it is. I have this napkin journal, which is an old ledger, faux ledger. It's not a real ledger book. It's a faux ledger book that my sister sent me. Julia Crane. Uh, okay, I just, I just got the connection notification here. Hang on. I saw that myself. Hang on. I saw the low connection note. Okay, so let's just see. Yeah. Let's just make sure you can hear me. I'm waiting. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> we'll keep going as long as it's just occasional. As long as it's just occasional. Can you hear me? Then we'll keep going. Okay. You can hear me. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, and hi, Ruby. Okay. All right. We'll keep going for a little bit. If it gets bad, guys, I will switch to the laptop. But it's only doing it intermittently. So I think we're okay for now. Okay. Um, so anyway, the, these are the Julia Crane, not all of them. These are from a color book, but the backgrounds are all napkins. Okay. They're all decorative napkins in the background. Then I paint in, I paint in the background. See, this is how they start. I glue down napkins and uh, let's find, here's another page that's done. There's one that's done. There's one that's done. But here, see how they start like that? And then I just go in and add. I go in and add. Um, these are Jane Davenport napkin. No, no. No. The I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe that one is. Um, so anyway, you can see. So the idea for... This one is the same thing, just smaller. Okay. So this is, this is, um, this one is handmade. And what it is, is just a piece of their card stock. I think it's eight and a quarter by eight and a half. That's the standard size of travelers folded in half. They're just folded in half pieces of paper and bound together with an elastic cord. That's all it is. And this one is the, this is my new mini uh, napkin journal. And I haven't got much done in it. I think I got two things done in it. Other than these are the, this is the Jane Davenport napkins. This one I started painting the background and using a Posca to extend the leaves. And uh, then this is the one we did about three weeks ago uh, with the Juliet Crane color book creature here that's the little jane davenport girl napkin and did a little whimsy page there the rest of these are pretty much not done yet they just have the napkins glued to them that's the jane davenport napkins and uh, so i haven't really this is a uh, uh, deli paper but for the most part this one's just still a work in progress although i did finish the cover but i have not varnished i haven't varnished this cover yet Okay, so that these are the three books. These are the three books that I have in this Jane Davenport um, cover. You can see they just fit three of them. Three of them fit. 
So, um, anyway, so these are some of my, some of my smaller stuff. And they're just, you know, different, um, yeah, I can't, you know, just littler things. Look, there's a little toucan. I mean, just little things. Here's some stamps and other things that I've just kind of half cut out. Some of the Tim Holtz little, you know, people and stuff like that. And then lots of, lots of just different little butterflies and the little uh, Tim Holtz um, photo booth people. Here's some Jane Davenport washi. So anyway, uh, there's all this. Here's another butterfly. I might pull that. So uh, this is one of my one of my smalls. Then I have other ones that are divided up. And some are kind of sorted. Okay, so like this one has more faith. Well, it's not, I don't know. It's not all faith. But I have things divided up somewhat. Like uh, in some of these bags, I have um, like these are paper clips. These are all different paper clips in this one. And then I got some of these little uh, illustrated face swatch things. Those I have quotes in a bag of quotes. Um, and then some of these are the stickers that are like dimensional stickers, which I don't like to use these too much in journals if they're they can get a little puffy. As you can see, but I've got some of those divided up in here. Um, more paper clips in this one. So I've got a little bag of this, a uh, box of this. And then I got this big, hang on, let me put these books back up on the shelf so I don't trip over them. Because I will do that. Try to pick up a little as I go so I'm not tripping I already trip over the cats <clears throat> then I have it I have this bin this is one of the bigger bins which is you know about five inches deep and I have these in baggies remember when I showed y'all let me see if I can show you the picture I posted it a couple weeks ago when I sorted a lot of my collage now these are not my papers these are not my calendar book these are not my magazine these are not my papers um, let me go to my photos here, see if I can find the picture. So a couple weeks ago, I sorted through my collage. I did post, hang on, let me find it. I think I kept it. Let me look. Here we go. So look, here's where I was sorting my collage stuff. Here, here. Here, so for for a, a weekend, I spent the weekend sorting out my collage stuff. I put some of this stuff in bags. So I went through and like y'all remember those little word fetties. Anyway, this is tiny stuff. This is real little stuff. Then I've got medium sized stuff, <laughs> and so I put it in bags. So I have a lot of, of smaller collage fodder and I put the chip, not chipboard, but the, you know, uh, cut out stuff. You know, what are they called? Cutouts. Do you feel normal now? <laughs> you got the same bin system. Well, before I sorted these out, guys, all this was thrown in this bin. All this was just in the bin. All this was just in the bin mixed with everything else. But I went through, I spent the weekend, <laughs> I spent the weekend and sorted out some like all this little, you know, chipboard stuff. And so now they're all in little bags. They're not, they're not um, sorted by like, they're not all butterflies, they're not all flowers, they're not sorted like that. They're more sorted by type, like hard chipboard and, and size more than anything. So like here, let me, like, I really like this pink, this pink uh, typewriter I might pull that to use. Here's another pretty flower. Um, so anyway, it's just all kinds of, and that's how I, I kind of sort of fixed it up a little bit so that it's easier to, to just pick a bag because before I was going through this whole bin, had all this in it, just 
just dumped in it. And that was hard to, uh, well, it's, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed digging through, but it was time consuming. It was time consu consuming. I used to have my collage fodder in drawers separated by topics like bugs and butterflies, animals in a drawer, people in a drawer, and I was not using it. I was not using the stuff because it was, it, believe it or not, it was more trouble to go by drawer to find something I wanted than it was just to dig through a big bin. <laughs> I enjoy pawing through a big bin of stuff, right? Uh, but anyway, so I just pulled a few, here's a few little things just to start. I, I, I might, and a lot of how I uh, organ, how I work on a page, is by color. All right, so I started here just to show you how we're, we're going to go to this point before we add stuff on top. Now, again, um, the way I'm going to show here is the same thing that I kind of, well, similar, pretty similar to what I'm doing here, but I'm going to do it on a bigger sheet so you can see it better, okay? So you can see it better, but it's the same kind of thing as this, okay? It's just bigger, because then, then I think you can see it better. All right. So here I did two sample pages of just some background color. Okay. That's all I've done in this book. And it does kind of buckle your pages. But, you know, I, I don't care. If you want your pages never to have any waves or buckles, you probably don't want to be a collage artist. Because <laughs> you're going to have waves and buckles. Uh, but it's not too, like I said, this book here is a Canson XL Mick Media, and it's called Rough. Okay, you want the, you know, this is 90 pound. I'm not sure what the regular XL is um, weight-wise. It might be 60, I don't remember. But anyway, and I don't usually, it depends. I don't want to say I don't usually, because sometimes I'll do front and back, depending on what kind of book it's in, right? But anyway, so what we'll start with is something similar to this. Again, I got this paper here. Uh, these will be like more like focal points toward the end. But I want to just dig out a little bit of collage fodder, just kind of randomly, just so you can kind of see how I'm going to do a page. Again, same process that I'm going to show you doing this, you can do in your travelers. You can do these smaller pages like this, right? Okay. So let's go to a fresh page here. I think I showed you pretty much everything I'm going to be using. You know, most of the time I'm winging it. I don't usually show you everything I'm going to just pull it and say, well, I'm going to use this now. And hopefully we're going to stay pretty well connected. I know we will probably uh, do some buffering, but as long as we don't like get disconnected for like a minute, at a, you, then we should be okay. If it does get bad, I will save this video, leave, and, and open up the laptop, and we'll start again, okay, hopefully. Um, so anyway, let's see, Arlene said, you mind are organized? I don't use them. I need to, yeah, see? And then Arlene, depending on how, if you like to paw through your stuff, you know, if you have a bin of stuff, I do like to do that. But when I'm trying to find something a little quicker, you know, like for a stream or something, it is a little harder to paw through. Hi, Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. Okay. So we're going to do something similar to this. Oh, and that is some, um, I think, no, that's paper. I think I had some wash. Oh, there, that's some washi tape. Now, if you use washi tape, uh, glue it. Don't just stick washi tape down and hope it sticks. Washi tape is almost guaranteed not to stick. It's not made for really permanence, permanence, right? All right, so I'm going to go just pick a page over here. And you could also, if you're like this, you could also do this so that you're not getting paint on your other pages. I don't really care, but just so you can kind of just do this and flatten it out if you don't want to work on um, in the whole book and maybe, you know, get paint on the sides or whatever, if you're that picky. So if you are, then just flatten out your book like this and work on just the flat page. Okay. All right. So now I got to kind of decide what colors and what things I want to do. Let's start with this Vicki Booten 
paper pad. And I think I got this a while. Um, I think uh, maybe it's either Hobby Lobby or Tuesday morning. I think Tuesday, I mean, Hobby Lobby, I think still sells this, but you can, um, I've seen it at Hobby Lobby and I've seen the, I've got a big, a big stack of this, not, I'm sorry, Tuesday morning. I got the big stack of this at Tuesday morning and maybe the smaller one at Hobby Lobby. But again, guys, use coupons, you know, use coupons. So I'm just going to kind of flip through, look at those, that butterfly paper is pretty. I kind of like that. And y'all know, I just go for it. I just go for it. I kind of like that. It's kind of pretty. I'll just pick like, oh, here's some hearts. Okay. So I kind of like those rainbow colors. This is something that you can do. You can do any color with. So I'm not necessarily having to pick, you know, blue and pink or yellow and orange. You can pick whatever colors you want when you use high scoops, when you use something like this. Okay. This is some of the paper that I used here. So I use some little strips of this. Okay. Because there, there's two sheets. There it is. See, there's two of each. So let's see what else is in here. And then these little cut aparts. I use that little bird in the other journal. So, and so, you know, pretty on the back some plainer ones on some and now we're now we're going into the duplicates all right so i'm going to go on a roll i'm going to roll with these three papers and um again let me get my golden matte medium this is my smaller jar i have a small jar and then i have the big jar janet bought me she bought me two big jars for my birthday um always put a plastic under the lid so you don't glue the lid to the jar. Very important. Let me get a thing here. I use coffee lids for my acrylic paint and my matte medium. And I'm just going to pour some out here. That's probably enough. Because it's so easy to glue your lid to your jar. So if you put a piece of plastic there, that's how easy it is. Okay. Um, let's see. Then the only, the only brush I ever store in water, and you can see they're glue encrusted. The only, these are the only, um, what do you call it? Brushes I store in water. Let me get a paper towel. I'll just brought up a new roll. Let me find the edge there. A couple of baby wipes. And baby wipes are good for keeping your hand clean, for cleaning off your paint brushes as you go, uh, and for blending. So I got a, here, let me just keep this paper towel here. If y'all have any questions, put it in caps. Make sure you have live chat clicked at the top. And thanks everybody for being here. Okay, so there's a lot of water still in there because I just took it out of the, I just took it out of the water jar so i'm gonna set that right here for a minute hopefully we're we're good so I, when i just i just imagine just kind of some kind of background so for now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take off the little these are good two little spots in there uh, i'm just going to go ahead and i like I like torn edges rather than cut edges, unless you're going right up against an edge where it's cut. Uh, torn edges blend better with paint than do cut edges. So we're going to tear edges, and I'll just kind of maybe I'll go this way with this one, because a lot of this is going to be covered up. But I'm going to show you this with these bright colors because... Uh, then we don't have to worry about picking a certain color. Okay. But you can do, and I would recommend like, let me go over here. see how I've got like, look at this one's more purple and pink, orange and yellow with a little splash of pink, blue and purple. Then back here, I've got orange and red. You see how just a couple colors with the accent color, it makes it, um, it makes it uh, easier to be cohesive. 
So if you just pick a couple of colors, all right, so maybe that and maybe one more little piece. Let's do maybe, there we go. I'll just do something like this for that, those papers. I'm just kind of laying them out. They're not going to be any, I do like these black and white butterflies. So I'm going to just kind of tear the edges so I don't have um, cut edges. Maybe that one can go in here, something like that. And uh, there was a time when I'd save stuff like this, but not, I don't, I don't, I won't go back to it. I won't go back through that little bitty stuff. Okay, so maybe just something like this, maybe just a little piece up there. All right, something like this. This is probably enough. I probably don't even need this. Maybe I'll just do a little uh, something down here. Something like this, you know, maybe a little, you know, something like that. And then this stuff I'll keep. This will go in my paper. Now this will be in a paper bin, right? So something like that. And then see, look, all these different kind of little chip for things. These can all be accents. Remember, guys, the purpose of this journal page and the purpose in this journal are quotes, faith quotes, and just quotes of like my Francis Bacon quotes. So this has a lot of quotes like this one. Most of the time when I'm doing a quote journal, I don't cover a whole page like this with the quote. I'll put it like write it smaller on a separate piece of paper if it's long or, or if it's a, a verse or a quote or something bigger, I'll write it on a separate piece of paper and then put that on there. But I just wanted to kind of cover up. I love all those smiley faces because this quote says imagination, which I did over here, imagination dot, dot, dot was given to man to compensate him for what he is not a sense of humor to console him for what he is. And you can see the little smiley faces kind of, you know, get in the way of the quote, but I just, I really just liked it like that because of the smiley faces is the reason that I went over the whole page, <clears throat> but not all, you know, you don't have to do that with everyone. Okay. So I'm kind of doing it like this is kind of, and again, if you are doing a collage and you're afraid you're going to forget where things are, you can always take a picture. It'll last longer. <laughs> Uh, hi, Green67 Band. Anybody else? Debbie Duke, Cindy L, Sarah's Crafty Aussie Adventures, Ashley. Uh, anybody else I missed? Sam had a Paula earlier and one of the first ones in here. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And if I missed you, I'm not. Uh, and I said hi to I Hannah. If y'all don't follow I Hannah, I got to show this again over on Instagram. You got to go follow I, I Hannah on Instagram is I Hannah's with an S at the end. But look, look at this. I went to her channel. I went to her IG and, um, and uh, this, this is the first thing I saw of her. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> hopefully we're not too dark. Is it the oh, let's get the so lighting okay? It got a little dark. Let me uh let me go to my camera settings. Hopefully we're not gonna buffer and hopefully we're gonna be good. Let me brighten it up just a little. So again, guys, if it buffers a little, it's okay. If it's if you get you know buffer for a minute or two minutes, then we'll switch over. Okay, hopefully it's going to be all right. Sometimes I go back and look at my videos. I go, oh my gosh, what a hot mess. It was jerking all over the place. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Because I don't see that happening, right? I don't see that happening during my show. So if it starts being herky-jerky, I can't tell that. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to take my matte medium. Let me pin my hair back up. It's falling down. Uh, I'm going to just start by putting a layer of matte medium over the whole thing. Uh, I like golden matte medium. It is more expensive, but nothing to me works like it. Okay. Uh, Mod Podge it, it does, sticks your pages together. Um, you you got to use what you can afford. But at the same time, if you're using Mod Podge in a journal that you're going to close, it may be sticking shut. So just saying. 
All right, so I'm going to just kind of, I'm gonna just going to kind of start here. And I always put the matte medium on the, on the base, on the back, and then over the top. Okay. And then as you're going, if you're going to take a while to do this, I'm going to be pretty quick, but if you're going to take a while to do it, stop in between, stop in between and, and mash it down. Now my, um, that one's kind of crusty. Let me get a different one. Um, uh, it will, um, this is kind of thick paper, so it's not really buckling much, but if you're using, um, like magazine or calendar pages, the chances are is it's going to almost immediately start wrinkling. And when you start seeing it wrinkling is when you want to take a card and start mashing it down. Mash it down, right? <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of gonna roll with it here, maybe a little up here. One another. I had this one. I think I had those swaps. So I'll put this one down here. This one up here. I'm just I'm not really too particular, too particular about where they're going because they're gonna get covered up, right? Uh let's use a little bit of this. A little bit more of this butterfly, maybe right down here, and this little piece right here. All right, so now I've got I got a nice base of color, right? And you can lay it out however you want. Where's my cut? If you're using matte medium, it is hard to get off your hands. So you gotta, you know, keep some baby wipe or keep something, keep keep it cleaning as you go. All right. So I'm gonna mash, whoops, pick that up. I'm gonna mash all this down. Again, this is kind of a little bit thicker. It's not as thin as a magazine or a calendar. So it's not really wrinkling or buckling much. Uh, Scooby, I have to pin my hair up now too. Oh, good. yeah, I, I had my hair almost to my waist at one point, And then I cut it up to about my shoulders. It's about to my shoulders now. Now it's a little bit past my shoulders. But I keep it trimmed up. I don't have it down to my waist anymore. When I turned 50, see, I used to have, you know how Halle Berry has her hair? Halle Berry, how short her hair is. That's how I had my hair for 30 years. I liked short hair. When I was in my 20s, I had Halle Berry hair. Very, very, very short. When I turned 50, I said, you know what? I'm going to grow my hair out. And it's been long ever since. <laughs> so that's just what I did. Um, you know, maybe when I'm 70, I'll dye it purple. Yeah. <laughs> maybe when I'm 70, I'll dye it purple. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do any more collaging yet. So I'll, I'll leave this out five minutes or so. Otherwise, your brush will be hard as a rock, you know. Um, you try not to put out more matte medium than you think you're going to use because it's not cheap. You don't want to waste it. All right. Maybe, um, let's see, maybe I will put, well, let's go ahead and go with this right now. So I'm going to take my heat gun. I'm going to dry this. And me and Paula, our heat guns are like 30 years, old, <laughs> at least 25. Uh, it's kind of debatable if they're 25 or 30 years old, but the Marvy you cheetahs, um, these babies have never let us down, have they, Paula? <laughs> You're going to dye your hair purple, our city? Okay. Okay, so the next thing I usually do, this is where the stage we're heading. Well, eventually we're heading to, you know, we're heading to this. But right now we're like, you know, <laughs> getting that to that point. The next thing I usually do, and you can use gesso or white acrylic paint. I just find white acrylic paint is more easily accessible. But I do have, you know, I got some of the art basic gesso, the, what do you call it, Finnebear. I got the Finnebear gesso. I just don't, I don't know. I, I'm just more with acrylic paint because it's just easy and handy. 
Janet Scissor. No, that's that's her uh, her uh, <laughs> uh, Ed, uh, Edward Scissorhands is is uh, Janet's spouse. He will trim down her peony bushes and I tease him and call him Edward Scissorhands. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, and it does roll a little. You can kind of just roll it back and kind of flatten it a little. Is I'll take a palette knife. This is just me. If you don't like the scrapey look, bye, Adrian. Thanks for stopping in. Anybody else I missed? I, I try to glance over. Put it in caps if you're talking to me. I try not to miss anybody. Okay, so I'm going to just pick. I love me a palette knife. Y'all know, especially in collage and blending things together. The colors, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to kind of blend everything together with the palette knife. Okay, you can't be afraid of covering things up. Okay, I, I saw that. It blipped again for me, guys. The other thing is if you are buffering, make sure after the buff, make sure at 720 or 1080p because it will knock your settings back and you'll be fuzzy. So check your settings. Let me write that in there. Hang on. Check your settings after a buff. <laughs> to make sure you're at 720 or 1080p. Okay, so you can't be afraid of covering areas up. But this is how you're going to make it all look like almost back to one piece of paper right? It's, this is how you do it. You just pick up some, you know, on your palette knife and plus it gives it a little texture. Okay. So this is how you're going to do. You're just going to go around every connect, every place that's kind of connected and just go in there and kind of, and you can go on the, if you're doing a big sheet too, you can put it over here on the blank area because that will give a little resist to when you either ink it or paint it. Now, if you get some too much and you don't want that much, take your baby wipe. Here's the thing about having matte medium. Because you've got the golden matte medium on it, you can wipe away any place because it's got matte medium on it. So if you get too much paint or it goes somewhere you don't want it, then just wipe it away. Okay, wipe it back, wipe it back. All right, so this is what we're doing first. I just kind of want a little bit of that stuff peeking through. But if you, you want, oh, I want that little heart showing more, that little bit, you know, you can wipe it back because the because of the golden matte medium. After the buff. <laughs> so we're not doing too bad. It looks like it may be buffing every once every five or ten minutes. As long as we don't get knocked off completely and my volume goes away, I'm going to roll with it, guys. I'm going to roll with it unless it gets Then I will switch over to the laptop if need be. And a lot of it, it could just be, it could be the servers. It could be YouTube. There's no telling. Everybody's on the internet right now, right? School kids trying to get those last minute homeworks in. <laughs> okay, thanks. And hi, Nanamo. Good to see you, by the way. I always enjoy Nanamo on uh, Instagram. Okay, so Nanamo, I like Nanamo's bangs. We have the same bangs, Nanamo. <laughs> or I think in the UK they call it fringe. Don't don't they call it fringe in the UK? I Hannah is I Hannah. Are you in the UK or Australia? If you're still here, I don't remember. I can't remember where I Hannah is. Is where is she? Hi Jerry. Hi Flo. Oh, I turned on Siri when I said hi Flo. Hi Flo turned Siri on. <laughs> All right, so can y'all kind of get the idea here? And um, let me go over here so you can see how we kind of... Now, I have a couple extra things on here. See, I have some words. Some of these words are stuck on top. But uh, so you can kind of see where I'm going. <laughs> Fringe is in Australia. Okay, yeah. We call them bangs here. Hi, Miss Vicky. Oh, Miss Vicky. I, I got to show it. Let me. I think it's on IG too. I saw it on Facebook, but I bet it's on IG. Miss Vicky, Miss Vicky, if y'all don't follow Miss Vicky B, she's the, she is my, um, I call her my planner queen. I don't do dated planners, 
But um, let's see, Miss Vicky. Where's Miss Vicky? There she is. She has the cutest kids. Look at this picture. Oh my gosh. Look at this picture. There's our planner queen, Miss Vicky, with her children. Look at that. Look at those babies. They're little mini. -me they look, those girls look exactly like you, Miss Vicky. So if y'all don't follow Miss Vicky B. Yeah, follow Miss Vicky B, my planner queen. Okay, so now we got some um, we got some white paint and or gesso down. Okay, and we'll be using this as we go. All right, now I'm going to dry this a little because I'm going to want to. You could start working on it now. Maybe I'll do just a little bit just to show you. At this stage, while it's still wet, you could start working on it. Let me put a little bit. Uh, let me start with a little bit of ink. And you can use a dropper. You can use a dropper uh, or just be careful. You don't, I mean, you need, if you're using this Bombay uh, India ink, that's probably, that right there is probably more than I'm going to need on this whole page. Okay. And then maybe I'll go ahead and use, um, do you want another brand? Let's see. And I'll just go with it because it's handy. Where's my teal color? There's a teal Bombay in here somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, I think it's sitting right here. There we go. Okay, so I'll go with the teal. I'll just put a little bit of that out. I mean, you just need a drop uh, while if your paint's wet. Now what I do is I'll take a scruffy brush, something that's, you know, pretty, that's not scruffy enough. Something that you have that are here. This is a good one. See how scruffy that brush is? It's really like, really jacked up brush. <laughs> But those are the kind of good brushes that are good for scruffy. Look at the picture. I don't know. Maybe the boy does. But he's too much of a baby to tell yet. The boy, not your husband. <laughs> but the girls look like you. Okay, so now what I'll do is I have also have this white paint here. So if this starts drying, which it could, you know, it's already starting to dry. I'm going to go ahead and take just a little bit. I mean, like, look how little, look how little is on that brush. And I'll start going in here and I can start, I might have to dry it. It might be, I might have too much. I think I have too much white paint. Let me go ahead and dry it. And then I'll mix some of the paint and the ink together and do this. You can do it a little bit, but it, it just depends on how pale you want it. Because my paint is on there pretty thick. I mean, scraped on there. It's scraped on there pretty thick. Get some of the blobs to make it dry faster. <laughs> Miss Vicky. It's on here pretty thick, so it takes a minute. I don't have to get it 100% dry, but I just don't want big clumps to paint into. That's probably good. All right, so then I can take a, a just, and it can be your paint too. It doesn't have to be ink. Your acrylic paint will work as well. And then I'm just going to start, I'm going to kind of picking areas here. I'll start doing a few little areas where I might want some teal, color, I mean, um, magenta color, and then I'll clean, I just clean off my brush like that. And then maybe just a tiny bit of the teal color here. Now, if you start mixing your colors, to, they're gonna, they're going to, uh, what do you call it, um, make mud if you start blending colors together that won't blend, you know, you, you gotta use your color sense. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm just getting a little bit of color down to start. And you can make, go this way and that way. I'm just trying to get some color down in some spots because we're going to blend it all out. Clean my brush, get some of the magenta right in here. See how it's kind of turning it purple, which is fine. Purple, you know, is fine, but you don't want to make brown. Okay, so here's some. A little bit there, maybe a little bit more blue down here. OK, 
Okay, so eventually what we're going to do is going to be nice and cohesive, right? Get me get a little bit more teal, maybe. I mean, I keep saying teal, I mean magenta, like right in there. And just kind of, just kind of look at it and see if you think you need it somewhere, right? Right, like that, right? Now, this is where the part where it takes a little minute and you kind of want to take your time. And this is the chill moment. <laughs> okay, so. I might just start in a certain area and I'll pick up the white and I'll start very lightly, just kind of blending. Or it may be easier if I show you how to start from the edges, maybe. Maybe that, here, let's put a little more color along the edges because I'll show you how you can start blending it from the outside in. That might be easier to demonstrate. But I don't really have a, an exact plan. I kind of do it all over the place. But just so you can kind of see. All right, so I'm cleaning off my brush here. Now I'm going to get into the white, and I'm going to start from the outside. This is how I did it on these. I start from the outside and just kind of start working my way in. And then when it gets too much paint, you know, you're picking up too much color, just wipe it off and just keep, I'll just go around the edges first, just so you can kind of see. Just kind of like I would do the black if I was doing outer space. I would be doing black around the edges. But in this case, I'm just doing white and just kind of doing a white wash around. And you can go both ways. I picked up a little, a little too much there. And just kind of, while the paint is wet, and if it gets too harsh a line, then just pick up a little more and just start, just kind of keep blending. And, it, and you just want to take your time and make this a, a, the chill moment, you know? Make this the, I try to go a little faster on, you know, a stream so that you're not having to watch me do a ton of the same stuff over and over. But this does kind of take a minute. See how it's starting to blend around? And it, it just, you just got to kind of, and this is why you kind of want the heavier paper because you're putting lots of layers. You're putting, and this is a very scruffy brush. It's all very scruffy. And you'll see how scruffy that is. Because I'm almost like scrubbing it. And then as areas dry, you can you can go back with more white and even bring it in even more. So I'm going to go around the edges first. You see how it's just kind of blending real softly? Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Oh, thank you, Scoops. Yeah, I'll show it to y'all. Those of y'all that missed it. Uh, I finished it and posted it online. For Mom knew she wasn't going to get the actual piece on Mother's Day, but I posted it on Mother's Day. So this is her Mandy. That's Mandy, Mom's um, little puppy. And I did this for Mom for Mother's Day. And here we go, little Mandy. <clears throat> So I'll get that in the mail to mom tomorrow. It's not, I, she's in plastic. I don't want to get plastic. There we go. <laughs> uh, so thank you, Scoobs. Thank you. Hi, Nichols. Sarah, I'm probably missing some people. Okay. Um, I'm not meaning to miss you. All right. So I'm just going to keep going around and just. And just start kind of just a bit more here. <clears throat> just a drop because this is this stuff really goes. And this is uh, it's all waterproof. Okay, so like if I need a little bit more, or just touch, just a look, look how little bit of stars. I'm doing like just a whitewash. All right, so now I've softened all the way around the edge. You lost me? All right, who else has lost me? Let's wait and see if we come back. Okay, my back. Sorry, guys. I can always 
I can take five minutes to go up over on the laptop. If it gets bad, I'll switch. Okay, if it gets bad, I can switch over to the laptop. I don't know. You know, I got my new computer, and I'm not sure if it's that or if it's server. Who knows? We have no way of knowing. Okay. If you guys want, I can switch over to the laptop. It'll take me maybe five or ten minutes, but I'll be back. I'll be back. Do you want me to switch, or is it that bad yet? I can switch. Y'all tell me what you think. All right, so I'm just going to keep getting softer and softer. Maybe it maybe it uh, it flickered while I was singing. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little See, that's when when some people um, some people lose connection and some don't. That makes me think that it's not me. <laughs> you know, if it was me, then I would think everybody would lose connection, right? But who knows, guys? You know, especially these days when so many people are on it. Okay, so I'm just going to soften a little more. And again, you really just kind of want to take your time at this stage. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what to do about it. That's all I can do is switch the laptop. Just softening all the way around. If y'all think it's... But not, it didn't do it as bad last week, Pacola. You weren't here. Last week, it didn't do it as bad on the laptop. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. So Riri says if she's on her TV, it's more like so she doesn't think it's me. Okay. Uh, if you totally lose the picture, Jesus. You will have to refresh. And guys, again, make sure that you check your settings that it didn't knock you back to 144. If you're fuzzy after it blinks, then you have to adjust your settings and move it back up to 720 or 1080p. Okay. So let's see. Adrian, less problems on that. Well, I can switch, guys, if y'all want me to. Maybe I go, should go ahead and do that. And we'll test. We can test. Okay. So, yeah, I can do that in a minute, Don, Donna, Tina, Donna, Tina. I think I will go ahead and stop. We've been here, like, right at two hours. So let me go ahead. This will be part one. Let me leave. Give me 10 minutes. It's going to take me 10 minutes to turn all this down, boot up the laptop, and get back. Okay? Okay. So we will come back in 10 minutes. Okay, let me type that in in case somebody can't see or hear. Okay. All right, so my chat's fro. Well, I can see it rolling, but uh, yeah. Okay, I will be back. All right, I'll be back in 10 minutes. All right, guys, hang in there, hang in there. <laughs>